Well, telling a story and changing the narrative, that's what powerful art does best. And our next guest certainly accomplishes that. And welcome to the show, artist Jeanette Bradley. She is one of a small group of artists who was featured at the Suncoast Black Arts Collaborative. So welcome to the show. So great to have you here. Oh, great to be here today. So your art, as soon as I walked in, it's stunning. Like, I, I, I love it. Can you describe how you do it and where your inspiration comes from? Mm -hmm. So I am a abstract artist and it's uh, multimedia. So I use a lot of newsprint in the pieces that I do. Mm -hmm. My inspiration comes from the community, actually. So I have a small nonprofit, what we could be exchange, and we do gardens at local schools where the kids are not performing well. So we go in for the entire year, we get to know the kids, and we're kind of teaching them science and math without them really understanding when they're planting seeds in the ground and we're planting seeds in them at the same time. I get a lot of stories. Yeah. So I decided, you know, one day, I think I'm gonna try to put what I'm hearing on canvas. So you see some pieces here. Yeah. A lot of it comes directly from the parents and the people that I meet that tell me, hey, can you talk about this? Can you draw this? Can you paint this? And it may take me six months to a year, but eventually it makes, to, it, makes it to canvas. This piece behind you here? Yes. Um, those are, that's called Bike Rider 5. That piece there, can I walk over? Yeah, I'm gonna walk over ahead. So this piece here actually got third place last year in the uh, Visions in Black uh, Suncoast narrative, uh, Suncoast show. And it's five black women, five black women run, uh, riding bikes back in 1820. So it's, oh, wow. it represents those five women. But at the same time, it represents five black women who ride bikes at 4 a.m. before they go to work in the morning right here in the Tampa Bay area. Oh. So they asked me to do a piece. It took me a while. I did some research and voila. But what you see is the five black women back in 1820 who went from New York to D.C., mm -hmm. 120 miles. They, they rode their bikes. And then you see the newsprint in the tires. Again, newsprint is a way of telling stories. It's framed really the black community. And it's my way of saying through the art, it's time for new narratives, use the media of the day, and I do it through art. Wow, I have a question for you because I understand you were in HR before you started doing this. Is I that was. Correct? Did you always have an artsy side? Did you like to I did. And draw when you were younger? I did. I mean, because this is incredible, I did. what a transition. As a youngster, I don't think I really did art, but when I went to uh, college, Florida State University, um, I needed to minor in something, and I said, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna minor in art. In art. But I already knew that I had. I already knew that I had this capacity. Yeah. Um, so, but I knew I wasn't gonna make a living at it, so <laughs> I did what everybody does. Mm. You graduate, you go get a job, right. and for the next 30 years, HR, um, I was also CEO of a nonprofit, so. Right. Uh, this yes. is incredible. Can yeah. you talk about this yeah. piece? Because you said this honors all moms, but also your mom. Yes. It does. So last Mother's Day, uh, the community said, hey, you need a Mother's Day piece. What are you going to do? So finally, um, I did some research and um, wanted to honor my mom, who has five girls. Oh, and wow. you'll <laughs> notice that they are wearing the newsprint because, yeah. again, it's time to start telling the stories in the way that we are the most comfortable. And I wanted to bring in some history, and I like to do that in a lot of the pieces that I do. So here on her shoulder is a picture of Sojourner Truth. Um, Sojourner Truth is famous for that speech, Ain't I a Woman, um, that she did at one of, I think, a local women's conference back in the 1800s. And um, she had, incidentally, 13 children. Wow. Oh, so wow. I think this piece honors moms. And, it's a, I also sell prints, this is, the, this is the original. It's a really big seller, especially really? with moms. Oh, wow, yes. it's beautiful. It's a really big deal, I think, in the community. That's so beautiful, and you see it by, at a far away, and it's great, and then as you get up close, there's so much more detail into sure. it. So, and the, yes. texture. the texture, I love texture, yes. yes. Well, thank you so much uh, for being here. And, thank uh, you so much for having me. Sharing your art with us. Thank you. And if you would like to follow Jeanette, uh, you can do so by heading to her website at jmbradleysurbanart.com.